Hey Quinn Knights, welcome back to school. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to read your ledger. So go to www.pqc.edu. So now that you are on the website, scroll all the way down and click on Portal Student Camps. So this is the tricky part. Now log in using your username and password. Good luck. So on your student portal, you'll find things like document tracking. Under document tracking, you'll find things that are incomplete and completed. So make sure you complete all of your financial aid documents because that delays your processing. Under your student portal, you could also see my financial aid. So under the financial aid tab, you'll see all of the things you qualify for based off of your FAFSA application. So scholarships, grants, and or student loans. Now comes the fun part. Click on my ledger. So under my ledger, you'll see all of your debits and credits. Your debits are all of your charges. Your credits are everything that's being awarded to you. To figure out the cost of attendance for the semester, add up all of your debits. So based off of my example, my cost of attendance for this semester was $7,667.50. Now that you have that number, now calculate all of your credits. Basically all of the money that's coming in based off of your FAFSA application. So according to my sample, I have $8,168 coming in. So what you do now, seeing that you have both numbers, is take your total credits and subtract it by your total debits. So for example, mine was $8,168 minus $7,667 with 50 cents. If your total ends up being in the positives, that means you successfully paid for the semester and your aid is generating a refund. However, I recommend you to reduce your student loans. That way you don't regret it once you graduate. So if you can, reduce your student loans or even cancel your student loans. If your total ends up being in the negatives, that means you have to set up a payment arrangement with the business office and have that squared away. Again, your financial aid eligibility is based off of your personalized information, so do not share your information with your friends. If you have questions, reach out to us via email at finaid at pqc.edu. Thank you.